Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back again to react to an Amberlynn Reed video. If you didn't notice, I did take a break on the video that was called Cooking Pasta and Putting Away Groceries and Goodwill Donations because, to be quite honest with you, I just thought it was a little too boring to transform. You couldn't do anything to help that video. It was boring. <laughs> It was boring. And you know, the the key to having transformative content is for Amberlynn to not be boring and for me to make it not boring. And I was just like, I don't know that I can do anything about that. To catch you up, she put away some groceries and she showed part of her Lego building, which I did think was better than what she's done in the past with her Legos. Cause she did show herself building it and did a little voiceover while she was doing it, which I think is quite the improvement over previous Lego content we've seen. Oh, I do think that the Lego building itself, how she was going about it, a little chaotic, <laughs> a little chaotic. And she also said that she thought it was like the center of the globe and I'm like girl it's the the pedestal the stand that the the globe goes on I don't understand why you don't understand what part of the globe this is but she is a flat earther so maybe that's why she doesn't quite understand how a globe works and she also dropped off some donations at the Goodwill and the Goodwill was actually open so there was no dump gate 2022 part two because she actually was able to put the donations where they were supposed to go. So that's that on that. And when it comes to my life, I spent yesterday, six hours of my life yesterday, getting a tattoo from Cove Inc. And I just wanna thank you so much. Uh, give them a shout out because they did such a wonderful job on my little Furby tattoo that is a now a part of me forever. And also uh, shout out to Becca who saw me leaving the studio while I was walking to my Uber and said hi to me. Sorry, Becca, that I couldn't talk longer. Nice to meet a fan on the streets. And with that, I think it's time that we get into this new Amberlynn Reed video, which uh, for better or worse is called Traumatizing Hospital Experience, dot, 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 bar. She, always, she loves the bar. She loves putting that bar in there. Vlog. <laughs> so I'm excited because it has been a while. You know, I took a break. We covered some foodie booty. We'll continue probably covering at least a little foodie booty. And I, I want to see what's up. I want to see what's up. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I know I used to say, hey guys. You I did. I don't know what happened, but I kind of shifted away from that. Like I used to say, hey guys, in literally every single video, but. You did. I don't know, we're kind of rebranding here. That is not, that is not a rebrand. <laughs> That is not what a rebrand is, and you've never rebranded, because I know this vlog is about to be the same shit, just a different day, so don't. Don't do it, don't say it, I don't want to hear it. Oh my god, I want you guys to know that a symptom of bipolar, which I have, Okay. a big one is like indecisiveness and genuinely making okay. decisions off of impulse. That's me. Uh, that's what I do. Sure, 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 sure. bipolar. Are you, are you, are you saying that the reason you're suddenly, for this video, doing a different intro is because you're bipolar? Is, is that, am I, am I understanding correctly? I actually just made an appointment. Which also, like, I don't think you need to, to blame that. I guess my point here is you don't have to blame changing your intro, one of the least interesting things about your videos on like your mental health diagnosis. You could just change your videos. With my psychiatrist, I wanna to talk to her about my Lamictal. I'm thinking of maybe decreasing it just a little bit. And I'm also thinking about maybe I should stop taking Zoloft because I do take Zoloft for anxiety, not working at all. And I okay. don't see a point in taking a medicine, especially one that like chemically switches your brain chemistry. <sighs> If it sure, doesn't sure, work, sure. I don't see the point in that at all. So it's something I'm going to sure. talk to her about and see what she thinks. For sure, talk to your doctor about anything like that. 
that is the best way to go about that with those types of medicines. Well, any medicine, probably. You should probably not stop taking any medicine without talking to your doctor. But I feel like your doctor could probably, or your psychiatrist could probably suggest maybe some alternatives or maybe uh, figure out some other options. So I appreciate your talking to your doctor. So I need to get back on track with just life in general. I... I don't know. I just feel out of sorts. Absolutely out of okay. sorts. I just don't know how to express myself right now or okay. like explain what's happening. But oh, that's a good, that is a great point. I'm glad you brought that up because I meant to say this about the last vlog. So I skipped a vlog and then the vlog before that she said in the next few videos I'll explain what's been happening to me. Like you, you might not remember, but I remember Pepperidge Farm remembers that she was talking vaguely about some some life-changing, soul-crushing news or change in her life, and she said she would let us know about it. A lot of people speculate Wifey. Wifey is still around. As I've mentioned, like, it could... She could have broken up with Wifey and Wifey still lived with her. That happened with Becky. It happened with Destiny for a while. I could see that happening, but also the, their dynamic, the little bits that Wifey has been in, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Some people are like, yeah, but she uses old footage all the time. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to be Nancy, Nancy Drew like that. I don't, I don't currently have the time to do all that detective work, but yeah, she hasn't, she has yet to bring it up. She didn't say anything about it in the, the last video and something tells me she probably won't say anything about it in this video. So I'm actually going to, like, re-download my fitness pal. Unless the traumatic hospital experience was it, but she said it didn't have anything to do with her health. Sorry, she's re-downloading my fitness pal. Let me stop pausing! I'll make a new profile. I would love for you guys to add me on No, there. why not? I'm gonna link her below if I remember. Click the link, add why? The message me, you know. Why are you making a new my fitness pal? This is just <laughs> this is just more day one nonsense. Like you could use the exact same one you were already using, unless you forgot a password or something. But to me, it's just like, this is another example of Aberlin doing like a symbolic fresh start day one situation. And I just have to believe that that mindset is not the best way to approach these things. We're gonna do like, let's be friends, whatever it may be. Hmm. Let's just, you know, vibe. Uh, oh my God, okay. I need to up you, update. <laughs> no yes. thoughts, only vibes. Yes, I need to update you on my journaling. I have been you have to. so freaking much I'm gonna set you guys love down. love when she is a professional vlogger of the the world and just shows us her ceiling and you're gonna like stare at my ceiling because love it you know, that's just the way that I, life goes i caught know, it ceilings iconery be friends too okay no but the reason why you're looking at my ceiling is because i am grabbing my journals, I want to show you guys the ones I have completed. Heaven forbid we just pause the vlog, grab the journals, and then restart the vlog, the video. Or, heaven forbid, knowing that we wanted to talk about the journals, that we just had the journals readily available so that we could have talked about them when we pressed play, pressed record, you know? Okay, so I have actively journaled daily iconic since june 18 proud of 2021. you so it's been you did that let's do a little google how many days has it been how many oh my days god days girl the ceiling since <laughs> june i love it i love the ceiling i love the ceiling it's so entertaining <laughs> The ceiling is the most entertaining vlog footage I've ever seen in my life before. Oh my god. 18, 2021. Do you hear the, to Google. Do you hear the typing ASMR though? Isn't that everything? I have this real clicky clacky keyboard and I do love some typing ASMR. It makes me feel like I'm back in the office. June 18th, 2021 to October 6th, 2022 is 475 days. Wow. I have daily journaled, and I have not skipped one single day. You're so good. Um, that's queen shit, okay? I'm wow. I'm you all the journals. Iconic. Iconic. Nobody's doing it like Amber Lynn Reid. I have completed. So, a lot of people are like, when you journal, like, do you draw? No. I don't do I like the little stickers. stickers. I mean, I did decorate this. That's cute. I was bored one day. I don't even know. It's nothing but words. Just words and words and words. Just words and words vibes. Word on every single page. 
So this is my first completed. Show me. Show me something my you had second, to say. Third. This one really went through it, apparently. It's like pen stains all over it. It's insane. So I thought she said pit stains. <laughs> I'm like, why are you sticking it in your pits? It's kind of weird. But also, like, wow, I'm so entertained with every new journal she shows me. This one's a big one. This took forever. Mm, I like a big chunk. Oh, this one. Can we, can, can we, can we, can we, can we stop with the ceilings? Get a tripod. The journal I'm on now is this really Ooh, pretty. Is it velvet? Um, Does it like have a velvet? I do not like the texture of the, like the velvety-ness. I like a crushed velvet, but that ugh, just makes me, <laughs> makes the, the hairs on my neck stand up. And, and we're almost finished. Like we're almost finished. Oh my God, so I'm rooting for you, I girl. The next one. Which is also another like velvet. Uh uh, no. We have some really cute drafts. Cringe. Reach for new heights. So we're just journaling a lot. I have had people ask me like, "What do you journal about?" I don't know where to where to start. I just create no rules for myself. I think that's for the longest time. Like I wanted to daily journal. Rules are fucking made to be broken, girly. But I had too many rules. I decided to throw out the rules. You know, journal how I want, say what I want. I talk about my day. I talk about people in my life. I talk about my past. I talk about my future. Journal, journal, journal. No matter what it's about, it, like, helps so much. Like, what is this for this happening? All right, time. Oh! Uh, he goes... Uh, uh, the Lego content I've been waiting for. Segment. We're going to do the next one. So this is how it looked last time. The way... Okay. So... I, I'm glad this is here because I can explain a little bit more about what I was talking about at the beginning of this video, which is just like the chaotic way she just dumps everything onto the table. I don't know. For me, that gives me so much anxiety, so much stress. Like, I feel like you're going to lose one of these pieces, girly. They're little and tiny. I have shown my Legos, talked about my Legos. You have. And so many of you are like, do time lapse. Show them Please. on YouTube. Yes. Show yourself doing it. You're doing Talk it. Talk about it. So that's why I decided to add these segments for the people who are interested in Legos. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry if this bores some of you. No, this is this is so much so much better than the way you're doing Lego content earlier. So much better. You're doing a voiceover. You in the last video she talked about how the reason she likes things like Legos is because she wasn't able to have things like that as a kid. I thought it was such a nice addition. You know, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. Maybe not everybody signed up to watch Amberlynn build Legos, honestly, and I get that. But if you're gonna fucking do Legos, like, make it more interesting than what she was doing, which I think, well, at least in the last video, that was it for me. I don't know. Something about Legos is therapeutic. It's fun. Yeah. I love the tedious aspect. I yeah. Know. I just really enjoy it. So, I think this is the bottom of the globe. Girl, how the fuck do you not know what this is? Look at the fucking box. Look at the pictures. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a globe, by the way. Um, but I think it's the bottom of the globe. For some reason, I thought it was the middle. But now that I'm working more on it, I'm pretty sure it's... Have the bottom. Have you ever seen a fucking globe? No, you probably haven't because again, you're a flat earther. I gotta remind myself of this. This is all brand new territory for flat earther Len, but <laughs> what? Yes, it's the stand that the globe sits on. Why would you think it was anything else? And there's always an extra piece. Love that. Okay, so it is time for... No, I would not love that. Why? <laughs> if there's an extra piece when you're done, I'm worried. You need to go, look, you did something wrong. A little torrid moment, because I have one... I really, I really skipped the wrong video, I'm feeling like. You, you're you bringing up the torrid... No, I know I skipped the right video, but I, I might skip the torrid moment, too. Two, three... Four, just four things, okay? It's like you guys are in jail, but you're not, I promise. The I'm angles. On this. You, <laughs> the, you could literally pick anywhere else, and you pick this weird-ass angle. You're not even angling it into the room. You're, like, angling it onto a wall in a doorway. What, why is this the angle you're picking? Miss Amber Lynn Reed, you've been doing YouTube for how, eight years? However many years? 
you know, you got to do what you got to do. You don't. I you know don't. It seems like I order a lot of Tori. You don't have to do this. This framing is so stupid. I love it, Amber Lynn. It's very entertaining. Very entertaining. I think it's because I was opening one thing per vlog. It was for annoying. Months. But like years ago, I would order from Torrid a couple times a month. Now I order maybe every two and a half months. So I don't, it's really not that much. So I don't believe that because you said you're looking at the Torrid every other day in a, in a recent vlog. And even every two and a half months is way more often than somebody for somebody who rarely leaves the house to be getting that much clothing. I just can't imagine. I just absolutely can't imagine. Oh, and that was another thing in the last vlog. She showed the fucking mountain of clean clothes and on her sink. You don't need any more new clothes, girly. Sometimes less, honestly. Me and Tori, we're just friends, okay? Oh my God. Oh, even, so even if you're friends, that doesn't mean I need to see my friends that often. You know, I have lots of friends who I don't see that often. Is the sweater? Wait, I'm. I can't. Pumped. I can't even see it because the 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 poles, the the things holding up your shelf that this camera's sitting on are blocking the view, girly. It's this black sweater. It says, "Leave me alone." Uh, me. <laughs> I need it. Oh my god, I love this. I need and it. Like, the lettering is kind of like towel material. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Not the towel it. material. It's so cute and cozy. So next thing is just a t-shirt, uh -huh. but the front of it. Oh, it's got a chest a piece chest moment. Y'all thought, okay, she hasn't said chest piece in a while. And y'all used to think when I was talking about, oh, this weird chest piece angle. I say it because that's how Amber Lynn used to describe if a, a shirt or a top. If it had any kind of, like, detailing right here, she would call it her chest piece moment. And that's... That's why I said it. I, I don't. I don't care any type of way about her, her actual chest, her actual boobs. I just think it's a weird way to talk about like the detailing of a shirt. Personally, love this. I think it's super cute, and I am excited to wear it. I love the simplicity, but you can totes dress it up. Sure. So I got my dress it up like, to go where? What are you dressing it up for? So cute. I just realized all of the items were black today. So, <laughs> oh, I added my new Tory clothes my. on top of. Oh uh, my Torrid. god! Not all my clothes is from Torrid. But Not I'm all my clothes is from Torrid. <laughs> okay, well I don't care. This is Mount Torrid. That's so real, and you couldn't catch me showing myself looking foolish like this. Adding new clothes on top of other clothes that I already own that I'm clearly not wearing because they're just sitting in a fucking pile in my bathroom. This is so absurd. So absurd. A large majority. And if you haven't watched my two last vlogs, these are all clean, are new. It's so nuts. They're going to be put away. We yeah. don't have to judge. Everyone has bad oh. habits. And Oh, I, I'm sorry, but I'm judging. <laughs> I'm sorry. And actually, really, truly, I can't say that there's never been a time where, like, I did my laundry, folded it, and, like, never put it away for a long time because I was going through something. So I think it's possible she could be going through something. But what I will for sure, for sure judge is you just added a whole bunch of brand new fucking clothes on top of this when it's clear you don't need any more new clothes. It's clear you don't. You have plenty of clothes to wear because you're still wearing other stuff that's not this. So you got a whole closet full of clothes you're already wearing and then you got this pile of clean clothes sitting on your bathroom counter. Why do you need to keep buying? It just feels wasteful. And again, buy what you want. 
really truly I mean I literally just bought myself a fucking Furby tattoo you know we all spend money on things that other people probably think is crazy but this is somebody who constantly comes on here telling us she doesn't have enough money for weight loss surgery she doesn't have money for this that she's she's poor she's been running like all these other businesses in the past year where she was like I just want to I just need to make more income I need to make cameo income I need to do this I need to do that because I just like don't make enough money and then we watch her spend it all on Torrid that she's clearly not even wearing. That's my point. And this is simply just one of mine. So I am going to put some away. No, put I'm it. not going to put all of them away. Why not? I get bored. I lose my mind. I okay. get insanely distracted. So I'm going to put some away. Then, didn't you have a method earlier? I remember she came on here. She's like, I got this great method where I set a timer to do work for 15 minutes. I stop, take a break set a timer to do another 15 minutes of work. Like, feel free to take breaks, but you have literally all the time in the world. <laughs> like, I don't know what's keeping you from putting this away. Because that's another thing. There's been times where, like, I didn't do, like, a house tour or things like that because, you know, I was busy. I, I have a partner. I had a job. I had to take care of the dogs. I had to spend time with friends. All we see of her life is her in her apartment. You're not going anywhere. Put it away. Here is a before and after. That's still we way too much. Dent, folks. Hardly. Did, okay. Hardly. I actually felt like I put away so much more than I actually did, but I did it. I did I'm some. I'm so proud of you. Fascinating on anything. I'm Just do a little bit, and you'll feel a lot better. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, Amber. So I just got out of the hospital. I woke up with really bad pain on my left side in my back. Okay. And when I breathe in, it's like this sharp pain and it feels horrible. I called my doctor just to make an appointment, but they said there's no available appointments. And with your symptoms, you need to go to the ER. So okay. I ended up going to the ER and they're glad that I did me too because when you have symptoms like that especially because it felt like I was also short of breath you know breathing in was hurting really bad so it's like something could be wrong with my lungs or they even said that it was like possible heart attack so they gave me an EKG as you can still see I haven't taken any of them off I also have some on my stomach and thankfully the EKG was perfect I also got my blood taken which I have a whole story with that which was honestly so terrifying okay you guys will never ever believe what happened. I am a mess. I don't know. I mean, she's probably right. People probably will not believe. <laughs> I'm sure there's people out there that are like, actually, this shirt is a shirt she was wearing another time she visited the ER, and I think that this footage isn't even real. Uh, but when it comes to things with her health, I'm just generally going to believe her, because honestly, I, 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 who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Do with myself. I'm currently not wearing a freaking bra because I had to get it. Oh, the freaking lady t took it off because I got an x-ray of my lungs, which my lungs and my heart look normal. So And you couldn't put it back on? <laughs> I don't understand. You couldn't put your bra back on? Turns out I just have like a strain, like a really, 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 really bad back strain, which is so weird to me. So crazy. So I made an appointment with my doctor for next week, but they originally told me you need to go to the ER. So that's the only reason why I went. I'm glad I went. Now, I don't feel as scared. I don't know how I strained my back. Um, I guess it could have been because, you know, I hurt my ankle, the ligament thing. And oh, not the ankle again. <laughs> not the ankle. Not the ankle. And this is connected to the ankle? Oh, now people really are. Was she wearing this whenever she went to the hospital for the ankle thing? I can't, I can't imagine that this is footage from then, though, because didn't she go to the hospital for that in the middle of the night or something like that? It was, like, late at night, and it's clearly quite sunny right now, so I don't really... But, like, we're really bringing up the ankle again, even though we said we would never talk about it. She She's going to have so many people. This is what I don't understand about Amber Lynn, is she'll be like... I'm not going to talk about my ankle injury anymore. Uh, and she had such a bad experience with the ankle injury and people not believing her that she was just like, I'm going to stop talking about it. But now here we are talking about a new issue 
talking about how it might be connected to the ankle issue. And it's like she hasn't learned anything. It's, it's like she really hasn't learned, like, oh, people are going to sit here and question me. Which is fine. If she doesn't, if she doesn't mind if people question her and she wants to share it, then share it. But, like, if she comes on here in two days and says, I'm so upset that nobody believes me that I went to the hospital and whoever, whatever... Well, girl, you are you lived this experience literally just a month ago. Like, we're back at it again. But please, like, I I also think, like, if you're seeing people say that, Iberlin, I hope you just, like, acknowledge that, like, you know what the truth is, right? So, like, as long as you know what the truth is, it doesn't matter if people are saying they don't believe you. You feel me? So, like, live your truth. Do it. But I, if you, I swear to God, if you come back in a couple days and say, why doesn't anybody believe me? I'm just gonna be like, girl, you know, nobody, nobody believes anything you do these days. I, you know, laid up in bed for a while and, like, how I had to maneuver myself was very different compared to how I usually maneuver myself in bed. Uh Uh-huh. And I guess it makes sense, but it's still scary. So, on the way to the x-ray room, I was walking through the halls. Is anybody, uh, is anybody bothered by this light that's on her face? This, like, straight pillar of light? They asked if I wanted to use a wheelchair, and I said no, because, like, why? I don't, I don't need one. Um, but I was walking. I- they probably asked because you had a back strain? <laughs> like, and you were having troubles breathing? I think it's reasonable that they would ask you that. I ended up using a wheelchair, and I'm about to tell you why. Okay. I was walking, and I had my IV. This situation type deal, it's not an IV anymore, but I had my IV, and all of a sudden, as I'm walking, I heard something fall, and I didn't know what it was. And then I just felt this hot, like, weird feeling go down my arms, and I looked, and the freaking IV fell out of my arm oh and I was gushing blood all oh my over God. me. Oh. All, oh my God. It was all over the oh floor. Oh my God. That is too much. I'm just like visualizing it and I'm like, that's, uh, that would be a lot to witness. Also, you and you wonder why they asked you if you wanted a wheelchair, girly. And the way that they reacted was so calm, so collected. Well, yes. Like, six different people. But That's literally how medical professionals do have to be responding to emergencies like that. They work under very high-pressure situations. That, that I would expect that they would do that. They are they are very, and, and I applaud medical professionals for being able to do this, because Lord knows I could not. But that's like their job is to act calm under pressure, under under emergencies. Like that work there from like six different areas just like came and cleaned up the floor real quickly. I started crying because I was scared. Like I've never had anything like that happen. It was like blood was just everywhere, all over my arm and hands. Oh, that's a and lot. All over the floor. That's a lot. But they quickly cleaned up part of my arm. I still have a lot of blood that's on my lot. Actual upper arm, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. Please and don't. It was just gushing. I don't know how it fell out. Well, I'm, I'm can thinking- we stop saying the word gushing combined with the word blood? Like. <laughs> Blood does make me, I wouldn't say it makes me queasy, but I don't love to look at it, you know? So I guess it does make me queasy, because if I look at it, it makes me a little, like, woozy. Thinking maybe it was part of my cardigan, like, pushed it out, slash, when you're walking, your blood pumps more, so it was just, like, the mixture of everything. It just fell, and it was, like, oh, my God, it was so traumatizing. Like, it was just scary. I was already having a lot of anxiety. Uh Obviously, like, you're at the hospital, you're scared. But, yeah, they were just really, really nice, kind, um... Cleaned it up rather quickly. I was scared. Like I feel like if that if that would have happened to anyone, you guys would have been scared. Like honestly, I I would I would can't have been. be dramatic, but I feel like sometimes it's very validated. Oh, thankfully, a wifey went into the pharmacy for me. That's where she's at right now, and she's giving me medicine um, because they prescribed me something called uh, lidocaine. It's like a lidocaine patch to put on me, and my blood pressure was a little. Lidocaine is literally, and I literally know this because my tattoo I got yesterday, it's literally a numbing agent. It, like, is there to numb you. Because I was getting, um, towards the end of it, my my tattoo artist was like, oh, I'm going to put some numbing cream on you. It's lidocaine. I think he said it was lidocaine. But yeah, they did the EKG, the chest secretary, took my blood, and everything looked completely normal and perfect. So 
I'm really glad about that, but that uh, today's been a day. Sorry the lighting's weird. It's because uh, the sun, I mean, we could like do that, but oh, no, no, no. The sun actually feels really good. I don't know. I just wanted to update you guys on that. Um, the lighting is really weird on my chest. <laughs> the lighting is always weird. You look the same as you always do. I just had to do it. I, it's every video, every video. There's something with the lighting, something about the way she looks that's different. I do know here, like, I, I get it. You're in a car. You can't control what the lighting looks like. This would be how it naturally looks. But I keep putting down this little doodad here. And then it makes my chest look weird. So it is what it is. Your chest looks the hair. same as it always does. Like, it this really does, life. Bestie. I have an appointment next week with my doctor, thank God, because your girl was scared. Like, to wake up and feel that way, it felt so... Uh, it, it honestly felt like something was wrong with my lungs. And they gave me a little bit of medicine was in there. It's kind of worked. And they put it in my IV. And after my IV fell out... It looks so weird. After my IV... Please. The only thing that looks different about your chest right now is that you have these little EKG stickers on it. <laughs> That's literally it, bestie. Oh, I said, I don't want it back in. And they didn't have a reason to put it back in, so thank God. You know, it's just more shit that I have to deal with and just be strong, and it's just queen shit, okay? You just have to go through queen things to shit. Like, I, be stronger, you know? I don't know. I don't know if that's queen shit, but thanks for watching, Amberlynn. <laughs> thanks for watching. You're welcome for watching. It was entertaining enough today that I said, yeah, I'll watch. I'll watch today. <laughs> I've got the time. Uh, I'm here to transform things. I really am. Uh, interesting. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another with our girl. So I hope she's doing okay. I hope she's back to breathing just fine. I didn't realize that a strained back could do all of that, so that's uh, good to know. And it's also fascinating. I'm, like, very curious about how she strained it. I would like to know more information about that, but it sounds like she doesn't really know how she did it either. So, here we are. Here we are! What did you all think? <laughs> what did you all think? You know, I'm the only thing I feel like I'm disappointed in is it's now been two videos that she has not talked about the soul-crushing experience, that she was, like, clickbaiting and... Well, maybe clickbaiting's not the word, but, like, teasing out to get us to come back and watch more videos. And it's clear that this particular hospital experience was not the experience she was talking about because she said that she... It wasn't related to health. So, I'm curious. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting and I'll be here when she decides to share. I might. Well, I should say, I'm getting ready to go on a trip this week for uh, a friend's wedding. So I will be out of commission like Wednesday through Saturday. And then the following week, I'm going out of Chicago to go celebrate a friend's bachelorette party. So I'm gonna be busy over the next two weeks, but I'm gonna find a way to keep giving y'all content. So be on the lookout. And if you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on my social media, Follow me on my gaming channel. Follow me on Twitch where I do goofy, silly reactions. And above all else, have a wonderful, fabulous, fantastic day. Bye!